Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to deploy the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Environment. I'll give you a brief introduction. So deploying the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Environment involves configuring your tenant, onboarding your devices and configuring security team access. Let's say you are a SOC analyst working at a company that is implementing Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Your manager plans to onboard a few devices to provide insight into required changes to the SecOps team response procedure. You start by initializing the Defender for Endpoint environment. Next, you onboard the initial devices for your deployment by running the onboarding script on the devices. So let us see the prerequisites. How first, how you will create an environment. So let me make a note of it here. So when accessing your Microsoft 365 Defender portal, settings for endpoint for the first time, you'll be able to configure many attributes. You must be a global admin, first of all, or the uh, security admin or administrator for the tenant. Now, you must have a data storage location. Determine where you want to be primarily hosted. It can be US, Europe or UK. You cannot change the location after this setup and Microsoft won't transfer the data from the specified location. So select the location. Now talk about data retention. The default is six months. Now you have to enable preview features. So the default option is always on. Okay. Default is on. And now to access the Microsoft 365 Defender portal settings, you would have to go to security.microsoft.com. Let me take you to the portal now. Now, when you log on to security.microsoft.com, you will be on your portal. Now, you have to select settings, okay, on the left bottom, and you click on endpoints. After you click on endpoints, you select the endpoints now. Network configuration. So if the organization does not require the endpoints to use a proxy to access the internet, if you do not want that, right? So Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Sensor requires Microsoft Windows HTTP or Win HTTP, HTTP to report sensor data and communicate with the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Services. The embedded Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Sensor runs in the system context using the local system account. So this sensor uses Microsoft Windows HTTP service or WinHTTP to enable communication with the Microsoft Defender for endpoint cloud service. There are some auto discovery methods like transparent proxy, uh, proxy or web proxy auto discovery protocol which is WPAD. So if a transparent proxy or WPAD has been implemented in the network topology, there is no need for special configuration settings. And when you talk about uh, the operating system compatibility of features, so Defender for Endpoint is available on the following OS, Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS. Windows, there are supported versions from Windows 7 SP 1 to Windows Server 2022, Microsoft, uh, Windows Virtual Desktop. You can check more on Microsoft Defender for Endpoint documentation. Now, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint on Mac OS. Defender for Endpoint on Mac OS offers antivirus, endpoint detection and response, which is EDR, and vulnerability management capabilities for the three latest release versions of Mac OS. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint on Linux. It offers preventive antivirus, endpoint detection and response, and vulnerability management capabilities for Linux servers. Defender for Endpoint on Android as well, and Defender for Endpoint on iOS. 
Now, if you talk about onboarding devices, you have to configure device discovery. Now, while you are on the settings on the Microsoft 365 Defender portal, now if you click on device discovery here, Now, if you do not see the device discovery option under settings, log out by selecting the top right circle or click on sign out. Refresh the page or press control plus F5 or open the page in, in private like I have opened this up in private. Now, if you see on discovery setup, make sure that standard discovery which is recommended is, is selected. You can read about basic as well. Now, if you want to onboard, you need to go to the onboarding section. Settings. Endpoints. And device management, you will see onboarding. Right? Now, on the onboarding a device, you will see select operating system you can select it from here so this is the primarily the list if you see windows 7 sp1 10 server 2008 r2 sp1 2012 r2 16 windows server 1803 19 2022 mac os linux whatever operating system you want let's say i want to operate uh, on board this 10 11 now make sure that device fulfills the minimum requirements depending on the device follow the configuration steps now if i select 10 and 11 i have a steps like i want to onboard a device i want to download the onboarding package that i will install on that and i will run the detection test okay and you will see many options after you select the appropriate operating system let's say i want to onboard my servers which are if I do this, you will see I get an onboarding package and I after I get the onboarding package, I will install it. So, uh, you can configure a single device by running a script locally. Okay. Or if I want to deploy a number of devices, I can use group policy, I can use uh, Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager, I can use MDM including Microsoft Intune, I can use a local script like this. I can use VDI onboarding script for non-persistent devices or I can use SCCM 2012 2012 R2 1511 or 1602. Now if you see group policy endpoint configuration manager video let's say i want to do this by group policy you can configure your devices by using group policy for more information how to conf monitor microsoft defender see configure devices using group policy so if you go to this documentation we'll try to discuss each and every method in detail but you will see that in the documentation itself when it comes to offboarding devices right so same under device management, you have an option of offboarding. Select the operating system. Discontinue Microsoft Defender for endpoint monitoring on a given device by applying a configuration change to it. You download the following offboarding configuration package available for a range of deployment tools. So, the for security reason reasons, the offboarding package will expire within 30 days of its creation. Okay. And same way you can use the deployment method to offboard the devices as well. Okay, this was a nutshell what I wanted to discuss about the Defender for Endpoint, how to create an environment. And if you are running a simulation environment, right? So let's say I am also running the simulation. Let me open up a these are the simulations. Select the social engineering techniques you want to use with the simulation. We can do this, right? These are the trainings. These are all attack simulation trainings. And this is the content library. But 
this is where I was talking about. This is your snow. So I'll I'll see how can I cover simulations in other videos, but. This was the gist of it. So I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.